is uh, some good news. The L.A. Teachers Union has reached a settlement to end their six-day strike. Uh, I don't. We don't know the details yet of of what they have settled on, um, but much of this was about shaking money loose from the state. You have a a, a completely blue state. I'm mean, almost a totally blue state at this point, whose dollar per student spending is somewhere in the middle of the country. Probably around 20 or 25 or something like that. And they should be like at one or two. I prefer New York to be one, of course. But they should be at the top in terms of dollar per student spending. And uh, charters, of course, are cutting into that. That's Cory Booker. Like, I don't know what he's thinking about, but this is akin. Cory Booker going down and. Cory Booker going down to New Orleans and celebrating the complete chartification of the New Orleans public school system. Is um, aside from it being reprehensible. In terms of the the public policy involved in this, this is like akin to Hillary Clinton insisting on doing Goldman Sachs speeches in the wake of the financial crisis. In fact, right. in some ways, it's worse, and I'll tell you why. Because there was nothing in those speeches that was anything other than her going and getting money from Pablum them. and Pablum. And um, at the very least, she spoke about the, the problematic aspects of Wall Street. I don't know what her reforms would have been. Uh, she didn't do so well with the bankruptcy bill, but it's a different era. And there was room to change. But here's a guy who has been in the pocket of private equity and their push for charter schools across the country and continues to do so when he's made all these, like, this is a guy. That was the point I was going to say. Like, he's shown, okay, like, he voted the wrong way on uh, drug imports. He flipped on that fast. He's even sort of tried to modify slightly his line on Middle East stuff by supporting the Iran deal. And but you even go back to 2012. I mean, he undermined Obama's reelect campaign because they were running these incredible anti Bain Romney ads, and he said that they made him sick to yep. his stomach yep. when he saw those ads. That's undermining Obama's reelect. Yeah. So I just think that this shows you, and I think we have to frankly he, measure this with all of the corporate candidates who are rebranding themselves. What is their breaking point in terms of like where they'll actually pivot? And it's clear. It's like. Charter schools are how he started his career, and they're not going anywhere. Private equity. And I mean, private, this is private, private equity, equity this through is about private equity. Yeah. That was the thing that he did to run against the city of he New York. He would never come back out and say, and you know he would never come back out and say that it's wrong to attack the private equity vulture capitalism of, of Mitt Romney. I don't think he'd be dumb enough to say that now. No, he wouldn't be dumb but enough to say that But the thing is, he's not dumb. And so but, this is that's what is so important here. This isn't just a, a, a mess up. This is like... I'm determined to go all in on the charter thing. Maybe because he also recognizes there's no way you can get out of it. And I think it's interesting. Like when he got his start, I looked at, into this again recently, right? Like he ran against, I guess what you would call like a machine in New York. Oh, and there a was, one guy machine who yeah, was incredibly sharp corrupt. James. There yeah. was corruption issues. There's all sorts of stuff. Oh but at God, the same so time, gross. yeah, but it is interesting to me that after he comes in there and does all this stuff with private equity and charter schools and demonizing teachers unions and then a whole Facebook thing, which Chris Christie was involved in, you know, the mayor of Newark now is uh, the son of Amiri Baraka and a teachers union activist. So right. like that legacy did not work well in Newark. No. I, I kind of want to anticipate a lot of the arguments that are going to come out from like woke neoliberals or whatever about why Cory Booker or Kamala Harris is the best candidate for president and representation, blah, blah, blah. If you support charter schools in New Orleans, 
in this day and age, after everything that's come out about them, you support white supremacy, full stop. I mean, the uh, the, the the reality is, is that there are um, uh, a decent number of people in the the black community who see charter schools as their only opportunity to get a decent education. And in some instances, in this moment, that may be the case. But the reality is, is that down the road, that is going to be, um, that, that victory is going to be Pyrrhic. And we go and back to that waiting for, for their, their kids. Yes, and exactly. we go back to that waiting for Superman scene, right? Like, well, first of all, just how sick it was that it was portrayed like these kids waiting in an auditorium to see if they'll get into a halfway decent school is like a dramatic arc instead of just a grotesque indictment of the right. whole system, which is exactly what it was. But right. I mean, sometimes people's personal needs, uh, which are totally legitimate and important, are, you know, not the same thing as the broader policy goal we need. The, the right? point is, yeah. it's nuanced in that respect, because the there's a. um hard way and an easy way to make sure that um, communities, particularly living in um, in less affluent areas and in areas that uh, where there's a lot of poverty, will get well-educated or will get opportunities uh, for good education. And the problem is that the, uh, the shortcut does not necessarily help that many people and it's also killing the opportunity for long run real education, uh, real uh, uh, quality education, broad based. Right. So it's like it's basically like a, a, a sugar high and it may work in some instances, but ultimately it is uh, very unhealthy for the entire system. And on one hand, you can't. Um, you can't fault people for saying like, well, I'm worried about my kid right now. I'm not worried about kids I don't know or kids five years from now or 10 years from now. It's hard to fault uh, parents from saying that, particularly in communities that are so already starting with such a disadvantage. Of course. Which is why the answer to uh, charters is not just uh, no charters. The answer to charters is, and, I, and like I say, I, I, I in very specific circumstances, narrow circumstances. Um, I am supportive of charters in, uh, in I think in New Orleans, a lot of them are private uh, or and, and don't have the same, uh, excuse me, for profit, don't have the same level of oversight that you have in a place like Massachusetts. But where they've definitely worked better. Um, I mean, to, you probably know more about this than I do, Sam, because you're a parent, but I've read so many reports and studies and a lot of them were out of New Orleans about how charter schools are prolonging segregation and the racial disparities in the punishment of children is far, far worse in charter schools. It's just the list goes on w without a doubt, um, without a doubt. But the 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 w what you're not seeing is a sort of the desperation of parents in that situation. And um, the no, I see it, and it's it sucks. Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, and that's why. I mean, uh, you know, there are um, there are definitely examples why it it, it it may not be as good in certain s circumstances, and certainly overall, there's no reason to believe that charters are uh, have better outcomes or even um, equal outcomes uh, outcomes across the board. But in specific uh, areas, it's understandable on some level why um, why you would see, I think, um, uh, people seeing that that's the only opportunity because they've they've lived through generations. Hello, of, this is Barbara of, Bush. Of lack of, it of response. turned out very well, good for yeah. them I don't that think, the charter schools were good for them. <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks they're doing the wrong thing for their kid. I'm mainly addressing like Cory Booker and people who should know better. Well, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Cory Booker is again, it's like I think I think that it's it's just a calculation that I need this it, is where it, I'm going to get my money. It's, it's his money and it's his whole career. It's one thing to pivot on a few issues and go in a better direction, but his whole I mean, 
He's not even from Newark. I mean, he literally set up shop in Newark and got, you know, funded by private equity to run a charter school campaign. Saved I mean, a dog from fire. Yeah, that is his Calm. whole political career.